I'm shot by JJ. I'm shot by JJ, and I'm with who? Sure, you here with Teffy Teffy, man. Teflon Don, man. King Revenge, man. Yeah. <laughs> Teflon Zato, man. What's up? Where and how was it going up? Uh, everywhere though. Everywhere. That shit was decent. I ain't gonna lie. I done stayed everywhere though. I done stayed in Car, Four Season. Well, what? Dixie, Simpson here, and MLK, old net. But my best times, my best time for shit show was in that west, on the west side. It was What's always that? fun. It was great though. I ain't never had to worry about shit on some shit. I ain't never had to worry about nothing. I just was on some being a kid shit. Yeah, yeah. Just doing extra shit though. You got any like childhood stories you wanna tell us? It could be anything. <laughs> uh uh, let me see. Man, I don't I gotta think of some shit. I done did some crazy shit though. Yeah, you good thing. Oh yeah, okay, she move. Okay. So uh I was like thirteen, I had got on the chase uh, with with uh with twelve. I was just got down. I really was sleeping in the house on some shit at first. I always used to be hanging around people who were older than me though. I just used to be lying about my age. So I used to be in deep <laughs> shit on some young nigga shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm just sleeping in the house. It was on um, like this girl, she was she you could say she like my cousin, but she wasn't she was just family. Yeah. She she needed me to walk somewhere with her. She had, I gave her ass some cheese like the day before. I gave her some little money. She was like she'll get it back if I walk with her. So I had walked with her to her friend's house. Her friend, she on the run. <laughs> she bucking like she OD high. I ain't even know that though. I'm just with that yeah. No, we got down, go we go to her house. She wanna got some clothes, but it was so hot outside when we were walking. I'm in mean, that bitch drinking some ice water. Damn. I'm looking out the window, 12 right, right past that bitch. And she helped me get her clothes. She straight got down, wait for me on the right path. I ain't thinking nothing that still. Yeah. We just leave. She see her mama. She like, she like, where you been on some shit? Like she just caught her ass, like mm. trying to trying to do what she was trying to do. So she try, she trying to play it all smooth. She like, oh, I was just at my friend house. I be back. Her mama, I don't know what's going on. Right. As soon as she pull off, uh, the police come back. We see the ass coming down the street. We ran through the cut. They chasing our ass down the whole neighborhood. Yeah. We end up going to like a gas station. It was yeah. like a laundromat on the side of that bit. And got down, you know how the stove be, then it's a pump, then it's like on the side of the little stove, little, little laundromat. Mm. We hiding in the laundromat, the police walked past past that bit and went inside the gas station looking in that bit. We bell out the laundromat. Yeah. And we got down, we ran through like four neighborhoods, man. All day what we were good. walking, like all day we were walking. We ended up going to a bando. And when I first uh, hit my first blunt, it was a whole lot of niggas in that bit. I was a whole all day though. Like I mm. was I wasn't with no niggas. I was some hoes, but we just ended up being at a bando. It was a lot of niggas in that bit. We blowing, we smoking. Some just tell me get up out that bit. Like it's a weird feeling. Oh yeah, God, yeah. I just leave. Like I'm trying to tell one of the, one of the niggas like walk me halfway. Cause yeah. I ain't know where I was at on some shit, bro. We was walking for all day. Like I ain't know like my general location. I knew I was close to the house, but I ain't know how to get to that bit. Yeah. So shit, they walked me halfway. They went back to the bando. The police come smack that bitch yeah. <laughs> on Jesus, and they got that, they got the girl, then they caught their ass in that bitch. I was just like, damn. Oh, I was like, my mom was like in the seventh grade. I was like, I was like. You got lucky for that shit. Yeah. On yeah. <laughs> oh, God, they text me, on oh, God, they text me like, boy, yeah, I live just in time. Oh, God. I'm going all day too. Like, it was sundown when I got home. Yeah. Oh, God. That's a little crazy shit, though. I just used to be doing shit like that as a young nigga. Yeah. Just getting this shit. <laughs> and then when you was younger, did you get a lot of ass whoopings? Hell yeah. For real? But I'm the only child. That oh, shit, yeah, it yeah. ain't like when the motherfucker got like six or eight on uh, kid. Hey, yeah, goddamn. I'm on monitor on some right. shit. Like, I, you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. if I drop a goddamn pencil in the house, you see what I'm saying? My mom gonna see that shit. Right. You see what I'm saying? So, shit, yeah. I used to be getting my ass whooped. Cause I used to be goddamn. I used to be wanting to do a lot of shit. Mm. Like, I, a lot of shit that I got introduced to on some shit. Yeah. Like, at first, when you first see it, it's fascinating. Even if it's bad, you're going to keep doing right. it. Like, because it's new to you. Yeah. And I used to be getting caught in shit. <laughs> Just getting caught doing shit, probably yeah. smoking. Probably got near skipping it on school and shit. Like, for a long ass time. Like, for months on end. Like, yeah. like a game on some shit. 
to get my ass off for shit like that. Um, the teachers calling my mama and shit, getting suspended. Yeah, hey, I used to be getting my ass whooped. But I used to be getting <laughs> whooped for shit I ain't do though too though. That's why I used Bro. to be acting how I used to be acting like. You know, you never got down. Your mom just keep be your ass because she wants you to admit to some shit that she ain't do. Like, yeah. she just know you lying. And you just like, fuck it, I did that shit. Just like, be like, yeah, I did it, whatever. Nigga, yeah, nigga, just to get it over right, with. But yeah. nigga still be fucked up by that shit. Like, yeah. damn, I just got my ass whooped by some shit <laughs> I ain't do. Now you on some other shit. You see right. what I'm saying? You you rebelling and shit outside <laughs> on some shit. Like, I used to stay you in my ass whooped, though. Damn. <laughs> Which one was the worst one? Like the worst one. I ain't gonna lie, like my mom used to be spamming me, like she'll keep warning me. You see what I'm saying? Keep warning me, or like I just keep doing some little yeah. shit, and she'll spam me, like I keep getting off, and then it'll just be that big thing. You see what I'm saying? That'll fall on top of all the little shit, and mm. she'll just whoop my ass for all that shit. I ain't really used to be getting my ass whooped like just every other day or every mm. other week. It just used to be like on some some shit that catch up to a nigga. Ass. Like, oh, you keep playing? Nah, she just mm. gotta go and scream me out, but. I think, um, uh, okay, one time I had, I had going to, um, I was in elementary school, I was going to Adamsville Elementary, I had about a cap gun in school, Damn. I got caught with that bit, then they had, was trying to send me to Metro, but my auntie and my mama ended up talking them out of it, they were trying to make oh, them sign papers and shit, I got my ass whooped that day, I ain't gonna lie, OD got my ass whooped that day, she took my ass up, oh God. I ain't, and then one day, uh, I was playing, I was playing with like one of my uh, auntie nigga gun. Like I let yeah. all the bros in the house to see that. I used to be doing yeah. bad shit. I don't be, I used to be <laughs> thinking about it bad shit, but not the time pass. I'd be like, yeah, I'd be tripping. Like it was a, it was a double barrel on some shit. Like Damn. we was all in that bit playing with that bit. We was just taking pictures with that bit, but they ain't keep it solid when they left. I had the Bro. key to her house. Like she used to be letting me go over there. And, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Get shit for her. Come back like. All my family like stay always. We always stay in like the same apartments, like yeah. three, four buildings down. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it used to be on some local shit. My auntie might be at my other auntie house. Tell me go get some shit for her. Give me her key. I go walk. I had in the leg, like it was like three of the bro. We was in yeah. there just fucking with that bit. Like ain't nothing happened or nothing. But them niggas just was taking pictures and shit. They yeah. end up telling they mama or some shit yeah. like, oh God, one of my Tripping. partners, his ass dead right now, long little head, that nigga had hell. <laughs> like they mama end up finding out about that shit and then that shit got to my auntie and them. My mama whooped my ass for that shit. I ain't gonna lie, I got my ass whooped. I got my ass whooped for that shit. I used to stay like doing little bad shit though. Yeah. So it ain't just, it used to be like all called for ass whooping, but it ain't used to be no out of ordinary ass. Right. It used to be justified on some shit. Right. <laughs> Damn. That's just a little crazy shit though. Then what school did you go to and how was it? I ain't gonna lie, I went to I went to a lot of schools, bro. Cause I used to be moving and shit though. Nah, like, I feel you. I was the same thing. Same I way. went to a lot of school, like had to keep starting over on some shit. Like I went to um this school, the first school like, I think that bit was across the street from um Thomasville Heights and shit. That bit was called Mount on um, Nevo. Then I went to um Margaret Fane, Adamville Elementary. I don't went to uh, Walter White, GA Towns. Them just all the elementary school before yeah. I even get to the middle school. I don't want the Riverside Intermediate, Riverside Primary. That shit ain't called. Then I don't went to uh, when I got to the middle school. I ain't even go to like too many middle schools like that. I just went to uh, Harper Archer. That motherfucker would turn if you know you know about that bit. <laughs> I went to that bit all the way till like my eighth grade semester. The first um semester I was fucking up real bad and shit. I was failing all my classes. My mom had switched my school. I had went on uh, young, young on uh, Jean Child, young know, middle. Then I had just after that, after the graduation and shit, I just went to May. Mm. I just finished all my years there though. That bit was great. It was great like. I ain't gonna lie, that bit was smooth. Like the first couple of years, it was like also oh, a little straight shit. And mm -hmm. then Corona happened. Like nigga was out of school for like for a couple of, like two, then the two years on some shit. And when the nigga came back, that shit was different. Hell yeah, um, bro. Yeah, that Corona shit changed. How they would even like train nigga? Like they want nigga to mask up and all that extra shit. Like that shit was different, um, bro. Hell yeah. Then the fans want to know if you got any like crazy funny school stories. Uh, yeah. Hey, just tell us one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that school used to be crazy here. I ain't gonna lie, I used to be up that bit 
chilling game. I ain't never used to be mm -hmm. acting like. You see what I'm saying? A lot of niggas used to be up that bit, like acting tough as hell on some shit. I used to be using that bit to like get away from home on some like, you see what yeah, I'm saying? Man. Like run away from home type shit. Yeah. Like, damn, I can finally get away from the house and all that shit right. be going on. Damn, I mean that bit fucking with the hoes and shit mm -hmm. on some little just being myself, just chilling, staying to myself shit. That bit used to be so smooth though, like, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I really don't want to say it, because they going to be talking about I don't burnt that. I ain't Bro. burnt that. I had smacked the hoe in the gym one time. Yeah, in the gym? Yeah, like in the um, girl gym. It was one of my oh, um, old partner. He ain't my partner no more. <laughs> I was a goddamn walking to class on some yeah. shit. And the hoe, <laughs> the hoe goddamn just grabbed me by my hands. He talking about, so where you going? I'm, I'm trying to go to go to class. She like, no, you not. She yeah. snatched the nigga all the way like three stories down to the um, gym. Yeah, that's, that's a little crazy incident that happened. I ain't gonna lie, that bit used to be smooth though. One time, goddamn, <laughs> like we can't bring no outside food in the, um, in the school. Yeah. You'll get in trouble for that shit. But it used to be a marathon right by our high school. But we used to always like drive or walk to go get the mm. wings. But they used to be like really dick around. Like they, they paying attention, trying to catch people yeah. doing it. So they end up, <laughs> like they ain't even catch us, bro. We made it all the way back. <laughs> And then when we came in, like, we had somebody open the side door. That's how you used to, like, not get caught. Mm. We coming in through the side door, and all the administrators and, like, the oh, principal, wait. like, right down the hallway. So they see us, like, we all got big-ass white little uh little styrofoam plates in the bags and oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. And the drink, they looking at our ass, like, hey, y'all. We straight run. We hit the door, door. All our ass high. But it's on God, bro. It's like, you see how this little shit coming out the wall like that? Yeah. It's like a little, little, little piece of the wall, like a little extra extension. I'm yeah. hiding behind that bit. So they, they ain't even come all the way down the hallway. They grabbing everybody. These niggas hiding in so dumb ass places. It's just me and my partner on the opposite side. He on one. Yeah. They straight catch his ass. Damn. On the last one, I think I'm so smooth. I'm tough. Man, <laughs> yeah. it's on God. My, he know who he is. He know who he is. That boy slot say, you might as well come out, they caught us. My, I got my ass suspended for like 10 days. Oh, God. Yes, yeah, I was already off a of suspension. Like. Damn. Yeah, they was not playing about that Man, shit. and they told us we can't, but you can't even eat a fry. Like when they caught us, we were trying to eat our food. They like, any other fry or when you ate, that was an extra day. Like, when, when? they on our ass like that, man. Power like, hell, like, extra, an uh, extra day. She like, you can get your shit back at the end of the day. It cold as hell and what? soggy. That shit ain't even worth it no more. Yeah, they was not playing about that. School shit. used to be hell though. I used to really like school though. That bit was crazy. Yeah, good memories and shit, huh? Yeah, it was like 50-50. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, it was 25, 75. Like it was bad memory. Mm -hmm. It was bad memory majority, but it was some good like memories in there, for real, for real. Yeah, that's how I am too. I be thinking, I be thinking like, damn, I miss school. It was copacetic in that bit though. Everything changed after school, like not it used to be straight in that bit. What does a day in your life look like? Uh, it just depends. Like, if a nigga ass busy, like on some on some route shit, it's a it be fast. It be fast. It be fast as hell. Like, the fast ass day be fun though. All oh, ain't gonna lie. A day in life for me fun. You gonna have fun. You gonna be happy. Like, <laughs> you gonna be happy. Uh, but shit, <laughs> shit, if it ain't like about no rap shit, we mm. might be doing some other shit though. Like, we gonna be chilling though. We gonna be, I like food. We probably gonna be out. We doing something. We having fun. Like, yeah. but day in the life, it, it just be fun. Enjoy life, man. Not for real. And then before rap, what did you want it to be going on? Um, uh, ain't gonna lie. I fucked it with the cars. Like, I liked it. Oh, I liked it. The cars. I wanted to be like. Not even on no mechanic shit, but I wanted to like build on um, cars on shit. Cars and, shit. and I like um movies and shit. I wanted to be like a director. I oh, still director. do though, like on some, on some movie shit. That's it. Then tell us something interesting about yourself that nobody know. Uh, I like to help people, but I don't like asking for help. That's a good thing though, helping people out. And what you do for fun beside music? I like to play the game. I oh, ain't yeah. gonna lie, I like to I like to go paintball and I be tagging shit oh, on the paintball. I ain't I need to start going frequently again, but I be going crazy when I go. I like playing the game, man. I like I like on. Um, I ain't gonna lie, I like multiplayer game, but I like game like Saints Row. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. GTA 4 and shit like that, like the old game, I'd be playing them bitches. Them bitches be still fighting me. Yeah. I fuck with Warzone though. I oh, get right in 2K and UFC and Mortal Kombat and Justice. Like, I really play a lot of games. I fuck yeah. with the games. I could be on the game all day if I wanted to. I'd be having to get off of that shit. Like my game right now, I don't even got that big card. You know, I'm gonna be locked in on that yeah. bit. One of my goddamn little cousin got that bit. You ever thought about like streaming? Yeah, yeah. We be talking about that shit all the time around the house and shit. We gonna end up doing that shit soon. Yeah, yeah. And then the fans want to know what's your favorite food. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I fought with the lamb chop, man. Like, lamb chop. My last birthday before this one, I had some goddamn lamb chop. Nacho, boy, them bitches was so good. Damn. They was so good. I fought with, um, I fought with chicken, though. Chicken? Hell yeah, like, the, <laughs> like just the whole chicken, like, concept. Like, I eat. I don't even really be eating like no meat and shit, like ground beef and fast food and shit. Mm. I just eat chicken from the yard. Like I like chicken sandwiches or chicken wings, yeah. chicken tenders, like that shit. Anything like involving the chicken, yeah. but it just it just gotta be crispy though. If it ain't crispy, I really don't want to eat that shit. It be slimy and shit, and hey, I, feel I don't it. like that shit. And then what made you start rapping? I ain't gonna lie, little shit. I'm like five. If I sit on some shit, I'm, I'm really small still, but I was smaller than this. Mm. I was smaller than this coming up, so like, I done seen niggas around me, like, they was playing basketball and, and football and athletic shit, and I yeah. ain't have the athletic body, but shit, I like the attention on nigga we yeah. getting, like, nigga, my mama keep telling me do this shit, and you see what I'm saying, the hoes, and you see what I'm saying, like, I just like the, all the attention, all like, the, attention. the positive attention, it, it was coming from that shit, so I'm like, yeah. shit. Nigga, I gotta find me something to do, but I don't know. I just, I just was always doing that shit, like from like 2010. Like I always been rapping, like yeah. on some like even younger shit. Like everybody around you, around me, I meant can tell you. Move I don't always me. been rapping, but when I just, I just had to get serious with that shit. I knew yeah. that's what I was gonna do. Like I knew that was my thing. Oh God, from, from when I was a little boy. Then how long you been rapping for? Since 2010 to now, they're like a 12. But I ain't gonna lie, like when I, I made my first song, when I was in some grade. Like your first real song? Yeah, like I got that bitch still. You didn't I, drop it? I ain't never drop it. It was somebody else shit. I just had hopped on that bit. Uh, on God, that was like the seventh grade, but I started really going to the studio like the, the 10th grade, like mm. 11th. I started really going to that bit, like. Nigga, I really wasn't in school. I was leaving that bit. Like, I eat lunch, and then yeah. after the little rotation, that high nigga had get there, yeah, you'll leave. Like, yeah. I don't come back to that bit. I'm going to the studio, and then I'm going home. And I, that's just how I used to be on God. But in some grade, that was when I made my first song on God. Like, my uncle always used to have, like, the, the mobile studio nigga. He'll pull up with a computer and shit. He'll come get that bit right. Like, I used to always be asking this ass, like, let me get on this song, let me get on it. He'll be like, I got you, I got you. So, but I used to get tired of that shit, nigga. I might, I just used to start asking after a while, nigga. I might be down that bit, just write my own verse to whatever they recording to. Yeah. Like, I'm writing something to that bit on some shit like that. Then one day his ass slap, his ass slap. Like, I ain't even used to be going, like, they used to be recording in the basement. I stopped yeah. going down that bit because he ain't let me make a song. Yeah. I used to be tired of, like, just sitting down there here and there, yeah, do it. I used to be wanting to do it. He sent somebody up there for me, like, they like, my uncle told me to come down there to the basement. And he had that shit ready for me. Well, I one took, I one took that shit on God. It was a nigga downstairs, he was on the phone with his hoe. It was my uncle and my other uncle. That nigga, I remember this shit to this day. The nigga like, damn, this little nigga just snapped in that bit. On God, I was on the phone with my partner. On God, I had to let him hear that shit. That shit was hard. I still got that bit. I be listening to it sometime. For real? So that shit ain't never dropped? Mm-mm. That boy went crazy on that bit though. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, I used to be letting everybody hear that bit. Like I'm, I'm just showing niggas that bit. Yeah. But after that, that one I knew that what I had to do. Yeah, had to take that shit serious. Oh God. And who was the first big artist that reached out to you? Um, damn, that's a good ass question. I don't even remember. For real? I ain't gonna count. Or if anything, just I don't name wanna a couple. Say the, I don't wanna say the wrong thing. 
I don't, uh, I don't talk to a lot of rappers though in the city. They be fucking with a nigga. Ass. It's a lot of niggas like I don't been around and I ain't really meet personally. Yeah. But nigga who don't really reach that uh shit offset, okay. you know, nudie. I ain't gonna lie. That's really like the only two for real, for real Damn. in the city that I could really just think of. What inspires you to make music? Um uh, my bros who ain't here and my family and um my fans and my real supporters for real for real in my future make inspired me to make music. Yeah yeah. How did you get your rap name? I fuck with um John Gotti. John Gotti. Hey yeah, he used to be calling himself the Teflon Dunn. He used to be putting mm -hmm. that shit on to like he used to be I used to be treating him like a celebrity. Yeah. I used to like that. I mean, he wasn't no celebrity. If you do your homework on that man, yeah, yeah. that was a, that was that was like fascinating to me though. I just liked it. I just took the Teflon. I took the Teflon, but I be calling myself Teflon Don too though. People be calling me that shit. That shit straight though. That's really where I got it from though, man. John got it. Okay. That boy had to stand on that dinner. Yeah. Are you signed or independent? I'm signed right now, currently. How that shit going? It's going smooth. You like it better being independent or you like it being signed? Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I like it when I'm signed for real, for real. It open like a lot of dogs. That's a good thing. Nigga like want to hear what you got to say too. For real, for real. Oh, for real. When they see you got people behind you, yeah. like big names, they'll hear you out. And how often you make music? Whenever I can, I ain't gonna lie, like, even when I'm not making music, I be making music in my head. I can't stop rapping <laughs> around the house. You was made for this shit. Like, even, <laughs> it don't matter about some little simple shit. Like, I'm going to be rapping about this shit because yeah. I can't help it. I just be playing so much. Whenever I can make music, I'm going to make it. Like, if I'm not in the studio, I'll be writing. If I'm not writing, I'll be just, i make a song in my head. Whenever I'm listening to somebody else's song, I can't help it. I'll be done. Start rapping to that bit in my head on top of that, yeah, like, I can't help it. And do you like making music at home or like a real studio? It depends, like, it don't matter about really the house or the home. It depends on who really engineering my shit. Yeah. You can come to my house and record my shit and then I don't like your shit and right. I can go to the studio and love that shit. You see what I'm saying? It just okay. depends on the engineer. Like, I, I like the house vibe for sure because it be like more, I be more comfortable, but I feel like right. I be acting more lazy when I'm in the house because it's my shit. You see what I'm saying? Yes. I'm, I be wanting to lay, lay back and shit and smoke and shit. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But when you in the studio, it's more like you know it's work yeah, it on some shit. Like, yeah. But I can't even say that because <laughs> I used to be throwing a party every day in the studio. Like, Bro. I'm throwing a party every day in the studio and then I just record at my house by myself. <laughs> It's <laughs> like wasting time, huh? Oh God, like I I record like I ain't gonna lie, I do like six songs or like four oh, songs shit. and then I used to stay in that bit till the seven the next morning. Like yeah. we in that I go to sleep in that bit in another room. Oh god, I used to be doing that one in there, so I can't even say that. It's just about the engineer or like yeah, yeah. in the studio in the setting for real, for real. Yeah, Cause that engineer's gonna make it fire, you know what I'm saying? Oh god, that's yeah. what I really I don't give give a damn. I record in the closet. Fuck you. If the engineer right, he gonna make that shit sound. Niggas not even gonna think you did that in no closet. Not for real. And then how do you handle criticism, like negative feedback and all that? It just depends on how my day going. It just depends. Like, if I'm having to get that day, the nigga can say some shit. That mm -hmm. shit bounce right off a nigga eye. But when a nigga going through some real shit, nigga just get on his phone and got down, get, got down, get to looking, and nigga say some shit that hit home. <sighs> Nigga don't like that shit, but I ain't gonna lie, majority of the time, yeah. I take that shit well. Like, nigga can't say a lot of shit to me, for real, for real. Yeah, that's a good thing. What advice would you give to upcoming artists? Um, Be different. Don't even be different, just be you. Because being you is being different. You gonna goddamn go somewhere. Just believe, like, believe. That's all you gotta do. When you believe you can do this shit, it's gonna happen. Like. Don't worry about where you at with it and how it's going. Just believe in yourself. You gonna, you gonna make it. You gonna goddamn go, go through the roof.
Cause all they want to see is a nigga ass being itself. Like, don't try to be like nobody else or yeah. be like what you think they want. Be like what you want to be on God. Like, even if that shit don't seem like it's working at first, that's how it be at first. You just got to do it. When you put your mind to that shit, you going to goddamn go somewhere. Yeah. Then you seen TikTok going crazy. So what you think of TikTok rappers? I fought with them nigga ass. I ain't gonna lie, I don't listen to that shit. Like, I fuck with the beats, or sometimes when that mm. shit gets stuck in my head, I, I ain't gonna lie, like, I don't be listening to that shit, or <laughs> I seen that shit out loud. Yeah. I really be jealous, cause no nobody, no nobody wanna teach me how to goddamn work my TikTok. This bitch got 23K, and <laughs> bitch, I just be posting trailers and shit on that bitch. Just posting my trailers and shit, man, but that motherfucker Fido. TikTok yeah. really straight. I fought with the TikTok little whole way, cause nah, for real. bro, you can post a song like you ain't even try on on that bitch. That go crazy if it go viral, that. that's all that matter. Right. I fought with the TikTok rappers, cause they making they paper off of TikTok. Nah, for real. They, yeah. I seen some like they ain't even trying for real. That that's what go I'm up. trying to tell you. As long as that motherfucker got like some type of loop to, <laughs> some type real. of loop to it, they ain't gonna listen to that shit. Yeah. And what does a studio session look like? Uh. A lot of cookies. We be ordering <laughs> cookies in that bit. I ain't gonna lie, I be drinking tea for my um to get my voice right and shit. Oh, yeah, I heard about that shit. I be drinking the tea, man. That shit be good. Um, we might have a lot of girls in there. We might have like a few a few guys, a few of the bros in there. Mm -hmm. Real respected bros. And just just fun shit. I be in that bit recording, but I be wanna give a lot of other people a shot. Might yeah. let so whoever in the room with me want to rap, go in there and go make ahead. you a song shit. We just be vibing in that bit till we got to leave. And that bit be fun though, know, every time. That yeah. bit be so fun. How long does it take for you to make like one song? I ain't gonna lie. If I'm mad, 15. 15 minutes? Regular, like 20. Shit, that shit quick though. 20, 25. Like, yeah. 25 might be just the ad, like the five might just be the ad libs on that mm -hmm. bit. With 20 minutes for real. Oh, that shit quick. It's just how I got that shit placed in my mind. Like, oh, a hook verse hook. Then that bit be over with. Okay. Oh, God. I don't do no song longer than, I try not to do no song longer than two minutes, 220. Yeah, because you know people ain't gonna listen to that shit for real. Hell no. Nah, shit look. too long for them. And what you like, you like punching in or writing shit down? I punch in for real, but I write, I do both. Like, this phone right here, this <laughs> motherfucker probably got a hundred songs that I haven't did yet that mm -hmm. I can do, and them bitches gonna be a hit, I swear, because I've been doing songs at this motherfucker, and the bitches been hits, and I can just don't want to do that shit one day and just punch and then make a hit. Yeah. Like, that's really how I, how I do that shit. But I like punching in, though, because it be more like, Natural, like yeah. it be more natural. As long as I be done written this bitch, I be bored, like rapping them bitches, like keep going over them. So I know the songs, but when I'm freestyling, it be different. That shit coming like right off of the head, and it sound better, like more put together, cause it's it's coming straight out. Right. And what's the most meaningful song you made, and why? I ain't gonna lie, I got so many songs, like I got so many songs, but uh. I'ma say like one of my songs that's out right now. Uh, I don't know, cause all them bitches got so much meaning. Every song like got so much meaning, but the one that mean the most to me. That's hard, bro. <laughs> that's hard. She fucking name a couple of them. Oh God, that's hard. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. The on, I fuck with the Frizo. That bit got a lot of meaning, cause got now, I was in. I was in some other, other state of mind on shit on that bit. Nigga know how it be when you got now, when you fresh up off a of got now, relationship and shit. Oh yeah. Then got down. The nigga was just expressing his feelings though, like on that bit. If you really listen, that wasn't the only thing I fucked up about on that bit. It was about like the guys too and shit. People who like incarcerated. But that's one of my favorite songs. I like that song. And um, Another song, I ain't gonna lie. Damn, boy. It's a lot of songs I could just say, but they ain't even out for people to just, oh, you yeah, see what I'm saying, go do their research. They just gotta wait. It's some crazy shit, though. Yeah, yeah. That's one on, though, I can really say. 
Has a fan noticed you out in public? And how did it feel? Every day. Every day? Every day. They shouldn't be invading now, but I, I respect y'all. So y'all just respect me when y'all see me. They don't be doing nothing, too, nothing crazy at all. Okay. I was finna say too crazy. They don't be doing nothing <laughs> crazy. They just be, uh, they'll say my name. it would be like, what's up? Or yeah. some of they actually just be shocked. They don't even say nothing after they say my name. And some just be wanting some pictures and shit like that. But <laughs> I see a fan almost every day, but I be trying to, I be trying to goddamn be be on some smooth shit. Yeah. Like nigga, I be spying me though. What artists are you listening to right now? Uh, the Backseat God, Zone One, Eric, Eight Letters, um, Max Aduya, and shit. I ain't gonna lie, like on a big platform level, mm. I fuck with Lil Key. Them, them yeah. the guys, them, they really up next. Like yeah. in a couple more months, they gonna be bigger than they is now. I fuck with Lil Key. I fuck with Rollo. I listen to that shit every day. I listen to Dirt every day. I listen to um, G Herbo every day for shit show. That's like and Kodak. I listen to. That's what I put in my rotation for real. A lot of unreleased music too. A lot of unreleased music. What's your top five artists right now? Uh, Rallo, um, Schmirk, Rallo Schmirk, G Herbo. Like this is my top five. Yeah. Niggas might not feel my shit. Mm -hmm. I be on some other shit. I fuck with Lil Key, and I ain't gonna lie, Kodak. Oh God, yeah. just like how I named that bitch. I swear that's the only thing I be listening to. Yeah, yeah. And just myself in the bro. But I be fucking with the new Chicago way too though. That bitch yeah. tripping. Like Vaughn, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, like Vaughn, Chucky, uh, like Schoon, Lil Jeff. Yeah. I fuck with like the, the new wave on some shit. It's some old niggas too. They be tripping. Yeah. <laughs> they be tripping though. Who do you want to collab with or work with? Uh, I don't be wanting to do too many features. I ain't gonna lie. I fought with um I fought with um her for real. But I always be saying that on my interview. Mm. It's a rapper called G40 I've been listening G40. to too. I ain't gonna lie, that's one of my favorite um artists too. On my top five. I had to make that bitch a top six. Yeah. Cause I be, I really had forgot, but I be playing that shit all the time. His uh five. I think he from like um Miami or Florida, mm. I don't want to fuck it up. That, that shit be hard, though. Yeah. I do a song with his ass. I don't be want to do a song with too many niggas like that. Oh, God. You got any new music or album dropping this year? Yeah, I'm finna drop a mix set. Uh, where the fuck is Teffy? When is it dropping? Um, I don't know. I got to put the song together. That be, that, be up, that be up for release, though. I just got to get the song together. Yeah, yeah. What's your goals this year? I'm trying to drop an album. I'm trying to drop, uh, yeah, I'm trying to drop an album for sure. I'm trying to do some shows, man. I ain't gonna lie. I want to go like in different states on some shit. Yeah, go on tour and shit. Hey, yeah, yeah, I want to do a tour. Uh, I just want to be a better media this year and shit next year, cause this year down there over with. Not for real. But you done any shows yet? Uh, like some little shit. I done, I done did a lot of like little city shit. You had any like bad experiences? Uh, yeah, I had, um, <laughs> I had went to this, I had did this show for somebody, yeah. but, um, they ain't even had my songs and nothing ready when I was on stage for and real? shit, and then they had got them, um, let somebody else go on stage, let somebody else go on stage while I was up there, Damn. I just loved that bit. My for real, they had you looking stupid on there, huh? Not really, though. Mm. I ain't gonna lie, I had a lot of people with me, oh, so for it wasn't, it wasn't like, it wasn't just like I was up there trying to get my shot. I yeah. really was just doing that shit for that, yeah. And mm. it was like, yeah, and that just would happen. I left though, but yeah, I, I ended up. the same thing. <laughs> I ended up getting a roll and shit. Oh shit. That's was, that was a plus sign to the to the event. Yeah. That was a plus sign to the event. I think I done did, I done did some shows in little clubs and shit too. Oh, for real? Little strip hole tried, tried to put her coochie on my head. Damn. I moved the whole like that. She <laughs> fell like off the whole, for real? out the whole on section. She fell, Damn. she fell on the shit. She um, ain't say nothing? 
Hell yeah, nah, that whole shit <laughs> been playing like that. I ain't gonna lie, that one I don't like going to club. I don't really do the clubs and shit like that. Damn. I fuck with the show though. I be doing a lot of, like, I can't walk doing a lot of house shows and oh, shit. Wow. Like, you see what I'm saying? House party, that motherfucker thick. Like, everything right here, it's a person. It's a person. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah. what? Well, nigga gotta stand on the counter. <laughs> shit like that. And a little club scene, but I be wanting to do, like, the real big shit. Yeah, the real big shit. Like, rolling loud and shit and all that, right? Yeah, yeah. They ain't try to reach out to you yet? Uh uh. Oh, Hell nah, man. A lot of niggas don't be fucking with me, though. Nah, they had tripping. It's on the way, though. Hey, that shit coming soon. You got anybody you want to shout out? Uh. Shout out. Shout out Eight Letters, man. Shout out Max. Shout out BG. Shout out, yeah, shout out YP. Shout out my family. Shout out my mama. Shout out Lorel. Shout out to my hood, man. Thank you, man. Mm -hmm. Shout out to the West Side. Shout out to my girlfriend. Shout out to my grandma. <laughs> 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 Who else I need to shout out real quick? Shout out to um me. Shout out to me. Shout out to Mark. Yeah, that's, that's it right there. That's it. That's it. All right, that's a wrap. Say no more. I'm trying